okay this video is a follow-up to my previous video on how to identify the congregations put together by the Almighty every congregation that the Almighty puts together has a purpose and that is to reveal the Almighty and now what I mean by that is that every congregation that it puts together um, if you look at my previous video comes about when you have a synchronous events that grabs your attention yeah, an attention grabber something out of the ordinary now um, I know what you're thinking you you can be thinking that there are some man-made activities that can also grab your attention uh, in such a way that you don't understand what happened uh, what happened there uh, I'll give you an example like there is a uh, space agency <laughs> that uh, I think last year uh, launched a, a rocket into space for whatever they were doing it for some research or whatever and it kind of created a spectacle in the sky uh, that looked very very extraordinary yeah extraordinary and this will grab people's attention and they, they started to gather and videos were popping up gone viral uh, where people just come together randomly to look at that spectacle and they thought it was something out of this world but on further investigation they found out that it was just the launch of that um, well, spaceship or rocket now the space agency in question um, I've uh, looked at some of their uh, uh, methods uh, launching and landing methods this is a space agency that, that insists on landing their their, ro uh, their rockets upright or vertical now obviously uh, intuition will tell you that if you land it that way uh, then it's by the grace of God <laughs> that, that it can complete that landing because the hardest way to land a rocket which is a long cylindrical shape uh, is to land it vertically it's easier to land it horizontally but they choose to land it vertically uh, now they they for them to land it vertically the wind conditions must be perfect and there mustn't be any uh, gusts anywhere and obviously whenever there's gusts the thing just tips over and they can't land um, vertically uh, so the, the almighty is very much involved <laughs> with that space agency so when I so that uh, some of the viral videos regarding that um, spectacle that their rocket launch caused um, then I, I, I researched them then I realized hang on um, they just doing things completely different from what intuition and no more scientific reasoning will tell you you don't just don't land that thing vertically because the chances of you doing it it depends on so the environment being so perfect and the wind conditions just being still and that's hardly gonna happen now because the the way the wind works on this planet is very random indeed you know um, something like a butterfly f flapping its wings <laughs> so, <laughs> anything can trigger off a gust of wind yeah even uh, the rocket coming in can trigger off gusts of wind that can bounce off um, different surfaces and create gusts that uh, recoil back into the landing position so it's very unusual um, so every event that you see even if it turns out to be man-made uh, has a conversations about conversation about the Lord uh, imprinted within it uh, I'll tell you a personal story of myself uh, for myself uh, basically if you look at this here this caught my eye um, and if you zoom in you can see exactly what that is yeah it looks like sign of a cross with <laughs> so that basically conjured up thoughts of Jesus Christ and you notice to make this um, sign of a cross the Sun is very much heavily involved <laughs> yeah uh, and that's a that's a shadow of something uh, I can't see what the shadow is there but I investigated and I found out it's a shadow of uh, an object that was nearby yeah but um, this is uh, a sign of a cross that just appeared out of nowhere and coincidentally and synchronistically yeah um, so I, I told another um, acquaintance of mine uh, to come and look at it and they couldn't see it apparently he's from a religion where they don't believe in, in Jesus being on the cross and it's not a joke <laughs> they just do not believe that so he could not see that and he was looking at it and I had to point out that look very very closely there and I had to point out the shape of the cross and said oh yeah and you people believe in that and I said yeah listen <clears throat> yeah so anyway I left him 
So that appears to be a sign for me to see. I didn't know then. Uh, and then um, recently, I've been doing a lot of meditation. Uh, I, I was bragging a bit. Uh, I was actually s saying to all the demons that are haunting me that you're not going to give me a cold. I don't care what you do, you won't give me a cold. So I've gone through the whole winter without catching a cold, just meditating every day. Yeah, no flu, no colds. Uh, and then on this particular day, which is a couple of weeks back, um, I was again having that conversation with myself, saying to myself, you're not even going to give me a cold. And then this weird looking cloud yeah, appeared not too far from, the, from where this uh, sign appears. Yeah. Uh, uh, it was not a cloudy day, but this sign normally appears when the sun appears. Uh, and they, they, a cloud formed not too far from there, somewhere around there, if you like. Yeah. And it was a cloud that was still. Every other cloud was moving. This cloud was just still and just right above me. Yeah. So I walk outside and it starts to gust. The wind just, just blows unnaturally. I come back in, the sun comes out. And this sign starts to appear. So I go into my Jesus conversations, my Christ conversations, Christ this, Christ that. Um, and then it starts to flicker. Yeah. And then it disappears for a bit. Yeah. And then it comes back. Then it disappears for a bit. Then it comes back permanently and it stayed there. And then I look up and the, the cloud has gone. So obviously to me it seems like gee, Christ was doing a battle <laughs> With whatever demon formed that cloud because they they have special powers too they could turn their stuff into a snake too <laughs> yeah so uh, but this is a simple sign that that can be explained away with logical reasoning i know what cast in the shadow there but what i want to know is how the hell uh, am i 40 years old and there's no way when i was let's say five that i would have ever imagined being at this location yeah so for this sign to grab my attention, it would have had to know that I would, have, I, would have, I would have been here at this time to view it. Yeah, a lot could have happened. The, the, the chances of me being here were so slim from the age of um, one, ten, even just ten years ago. <laughs> I wouldn't have imagined myself at this location. But yet again, that's what, what cast that shadow was there. Yeah and the shadow forms there and no one else has seen it yeah so <laughs> it was like meant for me to see and then i saw that battle happening so i'm thinking everything you see even if you can explain it away there's an element where you can discuss the almighty if it's something that grabs your attention yeah some people have uh, have seen clouds um the sun flickering uh and there's videos which have gone viral um, eventually we'll be able to explain why the sun flickers as well but until then that's that's something that we we can actually discuss because every thing that used to be amazing let's say 1000 years ago up, up to 80 percent of those things we have actually got an explanation for yeah but to the people who lived a thousand years ago those are things they attributed to the almighty and the things that amaze us now uh, i'm sure most of them 80 percent of them <laughs> We'll have explanations for, but we'll never have explanations for everything. There'll always be that one percent unknown, yeah, or tiny bit unknown, because everything in nature is never one hundred percent. There's always an unknown, and that's what randomness is. <laughs> randomness tells you that there'll always be an unknown reason why something fails or something freaky happens. Yeah, I mean, they the scientists contradict themselves. Uh, I mean, Einstein said, uh, madness is what happens. When you try the same thing over and over again and expect a different result but then quantum physics tells you <laughs> that uh if you try something over and over again and a different result happens you haven't gone mad <laughs> this is uh quantum mechanics and the laws of quantum physics uh suggest that that happens so it's not mad to do the same thing over and over again and prayer is not mad and then um we also uh should not abuse each other because there's some people who say oh well you can't find god uh, anywhere he has to be in a in a temple or church or, or synagogue or mosque or whatever but then you can't for us who see the almighty this way you can't confine god to a building you, you can't just tell me that 
God, uh, sorry, the Almighty is conf confined to a building. You can't. It, it doesn't. To us, it just seems silly to say that the Almighty is confined to a building. Is <laughs> and even uh, Christ said the Almighty was everywhere. Christ went up on the mount and preached from there, <laughs> where all these signs were happening in the background and they were part of the effect. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you can't really confine the Almighty to a building. So for me, for people to believe that I'm crazy for for trying to to find the Almighty out in the open, I think they're crazy for trying to to say that He only appears in a building i think that's crazy <laughs> yeah. uh, but we don't abuse each other let's respect each other this is my way my approach of seeing the almighty and if i inspire you um you can uh deduce the almighty in everything you see even if it turns out to be like oh that was that wasn't uh something that we don't understand anymore it's something that we understand yes i know that but there is a message within all that like uh, you have a rocket that's letting off all these different lights in the night sky and it looks like uh, some kind of alien vis visitation. But there's a message to all that. I mean, the conditions that created that uh, that spectacle, uh, if you go into those, um, there's going to be random events everywhere that, that you can describe. Uh, because this man was not trying to make that uh, uh, spectacle in the sky. He was just launching his rocket. And when that happened, that was way beyond his control. He didn't know that was going to happen. He was just launching his ro rocket. How, how the hell was he supposed to know? Um, but the, the conditions, the weather conditions, maybe there was a lot of moisture. There was some other particulates in, in the night sky. And uh, it reacted with the rocket fuel and formed that spectacle. So <laughs> that that is a unique event in itself. And you, you, you look for discussions about what you're seeing that will lead you uh, to know what the Almighty is saying to you when you view these synchronous events as a gathering that has been formed by the Almighty.